Governor Perry from Texas. Welcome, Governor. Good to be with you. You were in charge of the 12th largest economy in the world. And you recently said that four years ago you weren't ready for this job. Why should someone vote for you now? The approval numbers at home are in the mid-30s at this point. In a recent poll that showed you in a head-to-head -head against Hillary Clinton in Louisiana, she beat you by several points. So if the people of Louisiana are not satisfied, what makes you think that the people of this nation would be? No one here tonight is going to question your conviction or for your love for country. But has your moment passed, Senator? Mitt Romney declined to run this time because he believed that the party needed new blood. Does he have a point? You ran for the White House once and lost. You ran for the Senate one time and lost. You haven't held public office in 13 years. You said Margaret Thatcher was not content to manage a great nation in decline, and neither am I. Given your current standings in the polls, is the Iron Lady comparison a stretch? When did you actually become a Republican? Would you really let a mother die rather than have an abortion? Aren't these basic mistakes? And don't they raise legitimate questions about whether you are ready to be president? How would you destroy ISIS in 90 days? Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? To the families of those who died in that war, who say they liberated a country and deposed a ruthless dictator, how do you look at them now and say your brother's war was a mistake? If you believe that life begins at conception, as you say you do, how do you justify ending a life just because it begins violently through no fault of the baby?